everybody, so today we're going to be verifying BISC with GPG. So of course you need GPG installed and verified on your machine. This is critical. I have a video about this, so please do this first. And when you're ready, we can skillfully navigate to the website, maybe via Twitter. And if we go to the download section, we can see the DMG file and the signature file. We can download both of those. We can also go to their get started guide and scroll down and get linked to their GitHub. And we'll see the release notes, all the docs, oh, and the Oh, and the new assets. So there's one other file that we will need. It's this, we already have the DMG, that's the software, we have the signature file. We also need this jar txt file. So we can download those three files. I put them in a folder on my desktop. So we can see under verification, here is a short verification. And here is the more detailed verification. So let's look at both of these. So the first thing uh, we're going to need to do is import uh, Christoph, uh, Christoph's uh, public key into our keychain. So how do we find that? We can find it by searching via the fingerprint. or via his email, and we can import it. I already have it. Um, we can also use this command in the terminal. And we wanna verify Christoph's fingerprint. So if we look in the detailed instructions, we can see his public, uh, public key ID, his fingerprint, um, and you can, they say you can verify the fig fingerprint through commits on GitHub, which honestly I didn't quite understand how to do that, or we can look on Keybase. And we find rip curl X, but if we look and see, his fingerprint starts with CB37, sorry, CB36, CB36, and then here, CB36, uh, no, what? Uh. But if we click it, then we find, because sometimes there's more sub keys. So we've verified on Keybase, we've verified the fingerprint on their BISC website, and we've verified the fingerprint on GitHub. So that makes me pretty confident that this key is authentic. So I feel comfortable changing the ownership level to marginal, which I've already done. So we have Christoph in our keychain, and we have the three files in a folder, the DMG file, that's the software itself, the signature file, which shows that this file is signed by Christoph, and then we'll do, uh, we'll compare checksums, and these will show the checksums. So the first way, um, they talk about importing the key, how to verify the signatures. You can use this command and uh, let's just go here. And then we're gonna drag and drop the ASIC file, sorry, the ASIC, the, the ASC file. And we drag and drop that in and we get a good signature from Christoph, and there's his public key again. But the easier way to do it is just a, a double click either the software itself or the signature file, either one is fine. Double click that, go down to services, and then verify signature of file. Mm -hmm. This is the easier way to do it, and we get a positive result. So that's good. And let's check out the detailed instructions as well. Um, 
And they make a great point. Uh, BISC really has good documentation. Um, so they make this great point. Any software that manages funds, signs transactions, and deals with highly sensitive data is prime target for malware. BISC does all three. So, and they make a great point. Um, uh, this verification is something you should do for the initial BISC install. But after that, you'll be prompted to install updates through BISC's interface. So you won't have to do this again. Um, so let's look at, again at the detailed instructions. Um, you can download it from their website or from GitHub. They make good points that the file names need to be identical except for these two file names need to be identical except for this one has the .asc. And then uh, once you've got the installer file, that's the DMG, and its corresponding signature file, then proceed to our directions, okay. So we go to Mac, and they talk about importing his public key, we already did that, and verifying his fingerprint. And they talk about installing GPG, but we've already, we've already done that and verified that, or I hope you have. Uh, so this is the command that, so with the installer file and the installer signature file in the same directory or in the same folder, you can leave them in your downloads folder or you can put them in a file, either way. With that, you can run this, oops, you can run this command um, where the signature file is the unique one. So we've got to change it a little bit. So we can paste it in there. Uh, and then we're gonna delete that and put in our our actual uh, SIG file and put that in and crunch that and we'll get a positive result. Um, so again, that's the one way to do it. The other way is just double clicking it. So they talk about some error messages you might receive. They talk about commands you could use in the terminal, like print working directory to find out where you are, or change directory if need be, or I forget what that is, list something, list all the files in the directory. So that's, again, this documentation I think is really good. Uh, so here's what a successful verification looks like. So that's all good. Okay, so we finished the first part. That's just the simple, the easiest thing where we just this is just verifying the signature of the file. Bada bing, bada boom, that's easy, we got it, good. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is verify the jar file after, after installation. So this is unique. I haven't seen any other uh, software team verify the jar file. Usually people are uh, comparing the checksums. So we'd hash the DMG file and compare that. Well, this is a little different and it's actually a little complicated too because they say we have to find this jar file. And I never heard of a jar file. I Googled it and they said uh, it's some kind of archived uh, files or something. So how do we find this? Dude, I don't know how, I don't know where to, I don't know how to find that. So what I eventually figured out is we can find this jar file and then it says once we find it, then we want to <clears throat> use this command and then put our jar file in here. So let me just copy that command now. I'll just put it in here and make a space. And then, so where did I find this jar file? So I went to applications, to the BISC app, show package contents. And under the app, there's the jar file. So if we just grab it and drop it in and compute that, we get this unique hash. And this unique hash, we need to compare against their publicly posted hash. So this one starts 5131, 5131. And so we wanna look, and this is where that txt, jar txt file comes in. So if we open this, and we can see 5131, these match. So we've got two confirmations, our software is authentic. My only concern is that this file uh, could uh, there's no trusting this file uh, 
I don't particularly trust this. Uh, I've seen the uh, samurai when they do wasabi, for example, they put this information in this file. So uh, that's my only issue with this is that I don't trust this txt file so much. Um, but everything else looks good, and I hope that helped. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Take care and hodl safe.